Hey friends, Sam here with Happily Hooks. So today we are reviewing these budget-friendly Tunisian crochet hooks. I am super excited to test these out and see how they work. So let's get started. And make sure you guys do click on the like, subscribe, and the bell if you're on YouTube to make sure you get notifications. All right, so today we are reviewing these Tunisian crochet hooks. Um, they go up to, I believe, a size 12 millimeter. Yep, 12, and then they go down to, I think, a 3.5. Um, I think it's too small for it to focus on, but they go down to a 3.5. Um, the cables on these, I'm gonna guess, are probably close to three feet long. Um, I would probably recommend soaking them in like a warm water to straighten them out a little bit because they're a little stiff. Um, but they seem pretty, like the beads are, they're on there, the end beads are. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed this uh, seven millimeter crochet hook and we're gonna use um, Bernat Softy Baby Cotton and just see see how it works, if it snags or anything. Um, they are a little stiff, like the cord itself. And with the cord being so long, um, I'm not sure if that would just get in the way, especially if you're working on like a smaller Tunisian project. All right, so we cast it on all of our stitches. Um, so first up, it looks pointy. It is not very pointy. Um, it does not go as easily if you crochet tighter. So you might want to have, like, you might have to go up a hook size. Um, and I don't know if you can see those edges along this part here. They're a little jagged. Um, it's fine with this cotton, but I feel like if you used anything with a texture to it, it would snag it really bad. Um, but I mean, it's, it's doing fine. There, it is a little awkward, um, with the how long this cord is, especially with working with a smaller project. So like if you were making blankets or like really big shawls, then I could see these cords working really well. But also if you just need a Tunisian set until you can decide, like I wouldn't recommend buying a Denise set if you're just starting out with Tunisian because you're not gonna know if you like it. Um, and the Denise set is a little pricey. So this would be a good set to just test it out and see if it's something that you want to make the purchase on because you would like it. Um, I just wouldn't, I don't know. I, I like them, like they're fine. These would probably be great for like, like I said, blankets. Um, and I do like that it goes up in such a large size because you normally go up a hook size or two when you do Tunisian. Um, just because it's tighter Like I'm using this softy cotton and it recommends a four millimeter and I'm using a seven millimeter um, And I probably could have gone up a hook size even from that To be honest It 
but I mean it's it flows really well it's not snagging my yarn or anything like that um, like I said probably if you use like like the pipsqueak yarn or something with a texture to it even maybe acrylic would would snag on some of these but you could probably just lightly sand that down um, with like a small piece of sandpaper or a nail file that would probably work really well too um, to get those edges down and then maybe once you because like this is really long maybe once you warm these up in some hot water um, it might make it a little easier to to work with when you're doing smaller projects but I mean for a budget set this is a good set it's got a lot of size variety um, comes with a ton of hooks and the cables are long enough so you can make big projects but then you could also work on small ones so I I vote yes I vote this is a good set um, if you guys have used them before let me know what you think and leave a comment below if you have anything you want me to review next and I will add it to my list. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are liking these videos and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.